sharp drop in mortality among hospitals, hospitalized COVID-19 patients. The drop is seen in all groups, including older patients and those with underlying conditions. The great news is obviously due in part to improved therapeutics, but could there also be something else at play? Could this virus really be attenuating? Here with some answers, Dr. William Grace, hematologist and oncologist. Dr. Grace, you've read all this. Uh, your thoughts tonight? It's hard to prove that the virus is attenuating. We need more basic science data on that to make sure that that is a, a fact. But what we do know, there are three reasons why this is going down. The death rate is going down like a stone lower. One is doctors, the second is patients, and the third is the public. Doctors have come up with great inpatient protocols, such as the use of inhaled and intravenous corticosteroids. Remdesivir does not work. That third study that Anthony Fauci touted was being a big breakthrough. That has turned out to be a negative study along with the Chinese and the English study. Remdesivir doesn't work. But high dose prescription strength vitamin D does work. And that has remarkably lowered the ICU rate from 50% to 2%, the death rate from 77 .7 to zero in randomized control trials. And then finally, there is the patients. The patients that we are seeing today throughout the country tend to be younger. So they tend to have a better chance of surviving with less complications and less risk of death. And finally, there is the public. I went into my pharmacy the other day and uh, inhaled uh, Flonase is selling off the, sh off the shelf as people are with COVID as an outpatient are giving themselves inhaled corticosteroids. But more important, they're treating themselves with vitamin D, N-acetylcysteine, reduced glutathione, and zinc. And these are the elements that prevent oxidative stress and the hospitalized version of this disease, which is the inflammatory and clotting cascade that has to be arrested. All right, I gotta go back and write all that down. I thought I knew all this, but now I gotta go back and write out. Okay, we're gonna do that. Dr. Grace, um, in addition to that, now we have, all, so all that good news is out there about the reduced mortality. It's, it's, it's fantastic news. But the medical establishment still has to sell the panic. So they're gonna, they've already ruined trick-or-treating for most kids, and now they're going after Thanksgiving. We need to be safe. We need to make sure that we're limiting the number of people that come to our Thanksgiving dinners and so on. And we need to make sure that people are separated, they're wearing masks. But if you wanted to do it, you'd probably want to get tested, then go into essentially a quarantine for 14 days, possibly get tested again. After that, at the point where you visit, you want to be wearing masks as much as possible. Masks and eating stuffing with gravy, Dr. Grace. Is any of that necessary? Uh, I don't American. know, but I saw there was a man who had a, uh, a mask with a zipper on it, so maybe they'll, that'll become popular around Thanksgiving, but I think it's best to recommend people take high doses of vitamin D. Just 1,000 international units reduces your risk of getting COVID by 77%. Vitamin D and a side of turkey. And acetylcysteine. Okay, yeah. I'll, we're going back to, we have to write all that down, but... Acetyl, what is it? Say, say it again. N-acetylcysteine, reduced glutathione, and any zinc salt will protect you. My patients who have this who are at great risk, they don't even know they got COVID. That's amazing. Dr. Grace, thank you so much. Wonderful to see you tonight. And up ahead, Hollywood reuniting cast of iconic movies and shows.